we have an L3 machine here. It's a break disk LATA machine. Uh, this machine have few drawers to store different tools on the top and at the bottom. And uh, it have inverter motor and RPM of the shaft can be adjusted. I will show you how to install brake disc on the shaft of the machine. First, this is our rear disc with a drum for the handbrake. That's why we take first we have to pick up the cone and measure. The cone feel good. It goes inside our disc and big part outside. So we put first cone on the shaft. Then we put disc. Then we take one of our adapters of the different diameter and put the adapter. Then if it is too much space, we can put another one cone and then our spacers. That's it. Then we take nut and screw nut on our shaft to keep everything in place. To tighten it properly, we have to take spanner that presented inside with the machine tight it with spanner. Then we check the rotation and we see that everything is okay. After that we have to adjust our cutting edges. Like this. And we have to rotate handle to put them at the beginning of the disc. After that, we have to adjust the position of every of two cutting edges. So, until it will almost touch the disc, yes. After that, we are adjusting the position of cutting edge number two. You see, cutting edge are moving closer to the disc. It almost touch. Okay. Okay, everything is adjusted. Then we go to our remote control where all the buttons and uh, regulations are presented. It have emergency button. If something will go wrong, you just can hit with your fist and everything will stop. Before using, you see, error, you have to release this button and it will work. To start the machine, you have to turn on the switch to the direction mode and then we can slightly increase RPM for shaft and you see I increase RPM and the shaft start rotating. It can rotate faster and faster. like this. 
After that, you can take this magnetic lights and adjust the light so it will give a light to your working zone. Like this. But now we have a daytime, so we don't need the light. You can put it on the side. Now our cutting edges are very close to disc. So we can adjust them to slightly touch the disc. Ah, we hear sound. And second one. Okay, it is touching. So after that, we are looking at this part of the machine. You can manually manually rotate and move the cutting edges manually slowly slowly but if you want to do it automatically you can tight this handle and switch on automatic feeding you see now it's rotating automatically and now our cutting edges cutting disc in automatic mode you do nothing you can go and drink coffee while machine will do your work. After you will finish your work, you can decrease RPM. This will stop. You can switch off machine completely. You can turn off. And for insurance reason, you can press this button. This machine will never work while you will take your disc. It will not damage your hands or something. You can easily take it out. First, you have to release this part with cutting edges. And we can put it to side. So now our disc is almost free. We only have to untie it. Our nut. Take out our washers adapters and everything else put this in very comfortable shelf and now we can take out this you see shaft is not rotating even if you press some button accidentally our emergency button is pressed so we take our disc and giving it to our happy customer that's all